New story. And so the story begins. Oh, exactly what I expected to happen when I clicked new story. Perfect so far. This is sponsored content. If you've never seen sponsored content on the channel, Familiar setting for the I'll tell you about it soon. Dark and musty halls, teeming with foul creatures, forgotten treasures, and copious amounts of experience points. And experience points! This particular cavernous hallway is an artifact of profound significance. Gemstone like no other, in pursuit of this artifact, three stoic adventurers delved into the darkness, eager to plumb its depths. Unwitting to what lies ahead. One of them's me. If you've never seen sponsored content on this channel before, sometimes game developers or publishers and or publishers reach out to me and they say, Hey Jorbs, we have a game. We think it would do well with you and your community. Would you like to check it out on your channel? We will pay you to show it off for a while. And I say, okay, cool. That sounds good. So this is Goblin Stone. We are going to check out the combat, the underground base expanding system, the breeding component. We are sponsored by Orc Chop Games. This is developed by Orc Chop Games, an epic turn-based RPG with roguelike elements where players help goblins survive after being hunted to near extinction. They will assemble a merry party of goblins and navigate a treacherous path to survival, battling nefarious adventurers, pompous elves, and grumpy dwarves. In a world brought to life through nostalgic storybook-inspired hand-drawn visuals, Goblin Stone's heartwarming narrative blends with strategic gameplay as players venture through procedurally generated adventures, where permanent death heightens the stakes. Players will also build a sprawling underground lair from the barracks to the war room, where a goblin breeding system allows them to combine the best goblin genes, improve their attributes, and customize their fighters for the battles ahead. Goblinstone is fully narrated by the Scottish voice actor James Smilly. I hope I pronounced that name right. With music from award-winning composer Peter McConnell, known for his work on Hearthstone, Psychonauts, and Monkey Island. Players can choose through hundreds of combinations between goblin classes, weapons, abilities, map traversal. The game has over 40 hours of gameplay, 60 different enemy types, and 150 fully illustrated story images, and 25 boss battles. Released on PC via Steam and Epic Games on March 12th, which is today. Um, I think there's a demo too, right? Pretty sure there's a free demo you can play. I hope I get to breed a a mind goblin pretty soon. Common goblin, widely regarded as a hideous and evil demon. Battle. Eager to avoid. What is a mind goblin? Mind goblin on these nuts. Who <laughs> uh, breeds you, Mary? Um. Who breeds you, Mary? I don't know that one. Combat is turn-based. Everyone falls in line to attack, kill all foes to win the battle. I will move. To the center along this time bar. When a character reaches the middle, their turn starts. Halfling. Is your turn select an attack? Plucky strike. Bonk. After attacking, position changes. Sure. Dwarf. Hack. We won. Yay. A loot bag. An honest reward for dispatching the squalid creature. Let's turn the voice acting up, like, a lot. The voice acting is excellent. Most foes drop valuable items when killed. Choose loot carefully. You only have limited bag space. Junk. Sells for five gold. Spoils. Perhaps the next yield will be a bit more... substantial. Deep stone ruins. Oh, that was loud. More goblins. It appears that ill fortune has beset these hapless few. Their companion lies oh no. crushed, 
beneath the rubble. That's sad. Oh, we're just going to kill them. Alright, fair enough. They attack the goblins in distress. The next indicator shows you whose turn is coming up. Sure. You now use this ability now that there's more foes. Targets rear foes. 50% attack and inflicting stun. One of your characters is tired. This happens after using an ability with high cost. Characters that are tired take more damage when attacked. Characters in this area are tired and more vulnerable to attacks. Cool. We got a little bit of darkest dungeon sorts of stuff going on. Sure. We may not be the good guys. I think we're probably the good guys. How does this attack deal this amount as damage or magic damage from magic users? So my sword attacks and magic attacks are based off the same number even though I'm a wizard. Kind of surprising. I've just realized that they change positions. Hmm. Okay, stop that. How is it award winning? winning? It? Um, Peter McConnell is award winning for his work on Hearthstone, Psychonauts, and Monkey Island. Does the bot command say it's award winning? Oh, I probably shouldn't say that. I will change it. Who knows whether it will win awards or not. All right. Such a dismal bounty. One must slay great quantities of The gold. Steam page blurb. Says it's award winning. Well, there you go. We'll say it's award winning then. Award winning. It won the Podge Award? I didn't even know that was given out. And that mushroom in the background. What a lovely environment. Why do we have our rogue leading? Isn't that dangerous? They chance upon greedy little work. Rightfully theirs, be plundered in front of their very eyes. That is pretty funny. The Steam page shows the awards at one. Well, now we have to look. That's a lot of stuff to read. But it has been at a variety of uh, game award places. So the game didn't come out today. Well, so the thing you're struggling with is uh, prior to the game coming out, it was worked on by people. You also showed it to other people sometimes including people who gave awards for games. Why are these goblins over here not attacking me? Feels like they should get involved, you know? They're civilians? Oh, but the goblins I was fighting were not. They have no chance at survival. In desperation, they hurl their loot at the assailants. Does it work? Do they win? When do I get to play as the goblins? I don't like the adventurers very much. Run for your life. Without tally, 
the goblins withdraw into the sanctuary of darkness. Run for your life! How strange. Oh wait, I mean now. These creatures were fully expected to die. Perhaps their journey will be worth following. Interesting. Two little goblins, one despondent, one morose, and both with the shivers. Spider. A spider, the occasional snack for a hungry goblin. At this size, however, the roles are reversed. This guarantees a stun? Oh, I think I was maybe meant to do it in the other order, though. This worked. I think it was better to do it in the other order. So that this would come back faster, and then I could stun with this one, too. Hope emerges as the goblins dispatch the threat. Wait, why do I have the junk that I found with the other party? Narrative and coherence? Hello? Ooh, Klein. A light, finally. A path out of this abyss. Are we going to live upstairs? Where it is light? Ooh, it's quite pretty. A familiar feeling beckons to them. <laughs> A glint beneath the rubble. <gasps> oh my gosh. We just got a uh, Fremond. They just Fremond us. They were hiding under the under the dirt. When characters are surprised in battle, they start further back in the time bar. This allows their foes an advantage. Sure does. This is a game on mobile. It's released on PC via Steam and the Epic Game Store. Don't know of any plans for it to be anywhere else. This works, right? Because that's gonna go, but then I go... There actually is like a decent amount of ordering that matters here. Also because they will attack the front person, right? So you want your person with more health to be in front. Can we stone throw again? Is it good? I can knock back an ally. Huh. I don't think it was good. I don't know. It was fine. I think I was taking another hit. However, I did it. Crippling strike. What? They survived the ambush. I don't know you could crit. Bird? Goblin stone. A mysterious artifact. <gasps> As curiosity surpasses reason, they unearth the strange object. It the is title drops to be the artifact the adventurers so fervently coveted. As the stone awakens from its slumber, it radiates a light both beautiful and blinding. Both? Strange spirits emanate from the stone. They swirl and undulate in jubilation. As the awestruck goblins peer into the brightness, the spirits speak out. They bid the goblins to seek a sacred place deep within the woods, and there rest the stone. Faced with such a spectacle, the goblins muster what they can to break their stupor. They pocket the stone 
and head for the surface. You like that the game has nice goblins? We don't know for sure that we're nice yet. I will point out. Being the protagonist doesn't mean that you're uh good. Ooh. More spiders. The old woods. They did just steal the goblin stone from the adventurers? Yeah. They are greeted by spring winds and the echo of new leaves stirring in the breeze. Mysterious stone has told of a ruins within these woods. The goblins have been charged to seek it out and place the stone inside. A place of respite for the weary. Each party member's combat speed has increased by 5%. Like forever? Effects are temporary and last until the end of the adventure. Choices can be upgraded at the lair's barracks or campgrounds. They repose for a moment by the warm flame. You just came out, so we should all know very well that the protagonists aren't always the good guys. I have opinions about that. I have opinions. Once a goblin becomes a veteran of battle, it can no longer switch class. Okay. I'm hoping this will be like XCOM. Kind of feels like it has XCOM elements. Let's go to Old Brook Fields. Available resources ore and stone. Rest the stone. The mysterious stone is told of ruins within these woods. The goblins have been charged to seek it out and place the stone inside. Leave the woods, find the ancient ruins. Something else. Rest the stone. Rewards. Quite a lot of stuff. Ooh, wood. Bone, ore, stone, gold back. Strong Darkest Dungeon vibes. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's some Darkest Dungeon vibes going on. Here you can view each goblin's stats, abilities, and manage their equipment. You can also reorder their combat positions to suit your strategy. We have two peons. How do I reorder them? Ooh, the front one is the leader. I think war Wart Washer should be the, the leader. IMO. Oh no! My friends, I think. A bittersweet reunion, as they discover their camp had been further ravaged by adventurers. A goblin lies barely breathing. Their dungeon loot was never treasure, but medicines direly needed for their wounded. With their loot now lost, they wallow in despair. No. A queer sensation interrupts the morose scene. As the stone artifact acts on its own accord, the group mm. beholds the spectacle, agape with wonder. The languishing goblin is bathed in a warm glow. Mm. Its wounds slowly mend as it returns to health. Mm. As the light subsides, bewilderment gradually gives way to joy. Reunited. Okay. They now set out for the forest's edge. I have two more goblins, I think. Do I? Are they in my team? Or... They are. Show. Ooh! I can go two different ways. Chiseled Stick Sword. Rock on a stick. Click it to equip. Ah, oh, where's my inventory here? The way is shut. The way is shut. 
You shall not pass. They chance upon a carcass concealed by the stench. Did, did one of them just fall over? Meat and giblets. I was looking at the at the corpse. Did, did one of them just fall over going down the hill or was that something else? It looked like one did. Leather. Bone. Meat. The inventory system feels very Darkest Dungeon, yeah. Wait, you can get more. Scavenge to the bone, leaving nothing to waste. All right. Ah, the key. Among the treasure, a lone iron key. What might it unlock? <laughs> they do trip sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. The iron key unlocks the gateway. The path forward becomes clear. Alright. Oh, a wolf. That's a wolf, right? It's two wolves. Wolves. Such dreadful beasts. A filthy more salivate for goblin flesh. Redraw abilities. Cannot use this ability. Can't be used on the first turn. I see. Let's chop. 50% chance to sunder. Armor is temporarily removed. I don't think it has any armor. I mean, I think if I stun it again, it won't move until it dies. Maybe? Oh. I've discovered that you can't stun it again. Okay, my bad. I feel bad. I don't want to hurt the doggies. Oh. But they're good doggies. My goblins have great goblin names. Thank you. I think I might be the baddies. Full of peril, and there are many who hunt them. I think we should have let the wolves kill us. They were very cute wolves. So I do have a bunch of healing items. Did the wolves have a hundred gold? Maybe. What's it to you? According to the Wandering Inn, we are the good guys. Hmm. I don't know. They breach through to the edge of the woods. Ooh. That looks fancy. At last, they find a pathway out and venture into the open world. We like the graphics so far. They're very cute. They're very cute graphics. We have left the woods. We did an encounter. We got treasures and harvests. Now we must find the ancient ruins. All right.
I think in general, like, the artistic direction of this game is lovely. The animation, the voice acting, the music. You get... Alright. When will my when will Wart Washer they level up? A deeper part of the woods. The scent of danger lingers heavy. Wart Washer, yes, please. An adventure rests. <gasps> they sneak. Oh, are we surprising you? Ambush. Caught off guard. He braces for battle. Wary Adventure. I think maybe. Oh my gosh, we do forward rolls because we're ambushing. Outstanding. By the goblins he hunts. Shameful. His quarry watches you from behind iron bars. Uh, I have. Can I reorganize my party now? I don't think I can. Gimplager. Gimplager is using a wooden stool as a weapon. I think you should be like here or something. Probably. Be there. Because they have a good attack that can't be used in the first Another one joins their company. turn of combat. This fellow is clad in armor. Armor? Seems like cheating. The path will often split in two, each offering its own allure and possibilities. Both paths will eventually lead to your goal. Once you've chosen a path, you'll no longer be able to tread the other. I can choose treasure or mining or something? So I can't go this way, but I can go this way. But when I leave the screen, I can't anymore? Okay, I know what treasure is, presumably, so let's find out what mining is. Once you commit to a path, you can no longer return to the previous room. Okay. Does that mean that I harvest berries? Is that what it means? Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Oh. Alright, so it just means harvesting. Oh. Well then. There was once a time when goblins were plentiful in these woods. These few, the last of the green goblins, are all that remain. Maybe there actually was mining on this path? bears its fruit. Nothing must be wasted. Huh. Wait, are goblins real? Yeah, I think so. Goblins and Pokemon, right? Is that a friend? I don't know if this is a friend. They happen upon a downtrodden orc still clad in rags and shackles. At his feet, a freshly dug grave Aww. adorned with a bone club buried in the barrow. Aww. The goblins timorously disturb the orc in his mourning. Uneasily, they speak to him, ask about a nearby ruin in these woods, barely noticing their presence. The orc wipes away a tear with one hand as he raises the other to give direction. Politely very sad. the grieving orc, the goblins discreetly withdraw and leave him to his sorrow. Goblin and orc shouldn't be capitalized. I think it's fine. I'll allow it. Tranquility and rest. 
they settled in, weary of the world. Why would you ever heal when you get so many healing items? I will never heal at a campfire. Calling it now. Should we go to the mining or the treasure chest? I did the mining last time. Let's go to the treasure chest this time. Uh, what happened to the tree? Why did you do that to the tree, goblins? Oh. It's an ambush because it was looking the other way. Clever. Intercept. Oh, I stunned it. Arch Bicker needs to be further back. Excellent strike. Never mind, you can be right there. I've changed my mind. These are the cutest goblins you've ever seen. They are very cute, aren't they? Why is stone throw so broken? Doesn't feel like it should be that good. I wonder if we ever have mischance. We have crit chance. Sun is time-based, not turn-based. Well, it's, I mean, it's basically turn-based. It's two turns. If a turn is one tick of the time. Held fast by a great forest tree. Ooh, pretty. I also think it would be nice to be able to interact with the backgrounds. They are very pretty. This could totally be a platformer, huh? It's very close to being a platformer. Ooh, two of them. Humans have taken the lane. The road ahead will not be easy. Those with armor are harder to beat since it reduces the amount of damage they take from attacks, but some special effects like speed will ignore armor. Ah, that one has armor. Now I have armor. Pick wounds. I wonder what shoving someone does. I should try shoving someone. Ow! Oh my god. Oh, that was not good. Did that make it take longer to take its turn? Is that just like better than... It feels like that's just better than stunning it. Right now you're here, and then I push you. Oh, you didn't get pushed. 
I'm confused. <laughs> Great. Skill. Staggering hit. So were I to shove you, you would go back one turn. But they resist. How did they resist? How did you resist? What did you do? Are you always going to resist? Hmm. Exterminate. Bash. Nicely done. Why do the Gerblins not always crit? That's what you, you would do if you were a Gerblin. You should try being a Gerblin then. Sounds like you'd be very good at it. Hello. Shoes. Quip Hunter. Magic Rock. This captive is garbed in peculiar vestments. It appears quite grateful and joins the group. Why do the goblins fight the humans? Because the humans are trying to uh, do terrible things to the goblins. It's hard to believe, though. Would humans really be cruel to other people? Quietly, the goblins doubt it. approach the ruins, peering from behind a bush. They watch nervously as a pair of human adventurers awkwardly stumble out of the ruins. Deeming it too dangerous to proceed, they search for a more discreet way to enter the ancient ruin. The goblins make their way under the tree through a dark and uncomfortably narrow tunnel. They miserably crawl through the crannies until they reach the tunnel's end. <laughs> Narrator does not like the goblins. Oh my god, a lot of humans. Intruding into a human infested establishment hidden beneath the tree. The crowd scatters in a frenzy at the sight of the unexpected trespassers. As the chaos ebbs, a surly innkeeper and his flunkies are all that remain. He turns to the goblins with a baleful glare, intent on exacting retribution. All right. Boss fight? Defiler of the ancient ruins. How do we defeat you? Foes may use status effects like hasting and advantage, counter this by inflicting stun or slow. However, be cautious as so slowly build resistance to effects used on them. <gasps> oh wow, that has 80 health and three armor. That's kind of a lot. Steph, I already fed you. Spirit. What is your spirit? Speed, magic armor, crit chance, power. I don't know what spirit is. Hmm. Away with you. Did each goblin get its own deck? It seems like... Goblins have a class. 
and each class gets its own deck, maybe. Immune? Shove is just not as good as it feels like it should be. You can add weapons to equipped cards as well. Sounds believable. It has so much health. No! Stop it! Honestly, if the way that this fight works is it calls cooks and the cooks make it call more cooks, it kind of feels like it will never deal any damage to me. So maybe that's fine. Can I reroll? A while ago, I was able to reroll. I guess I can right now. Ooh, sundered. Give him Plagger! No! Oh, I think that says it's stun resist and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that seems like information I would want to know. Why are we fighting civilians? Uh, they are looting the ruins that are sacred to us as goblins. Wow, it's just going to resist the stun every time. And then not do anything. Okay! <laughs> Island with goblins. <laughs> that does kind of feel like the Intentia. Yeah. and time are potent medicines. Hmm. What about slowly dying? Is that a good medicine? Uh. Zephyr, what do you want? Why are you here? I think he wants to go to sleep. Mm. He's just kind of staring at me. He sure is. He sure is. Lupacruto, thanks for 29 months. Appreciate it. Huh? 
said I would remove all of my armor. And then I removed two of my armor. Maybe one of the armor is from equipment, so it can't be removed. Probably. Yeah, actually, I think that's probably how it works. It's strange combat because I have more units than they do. Ham hammer, raiders or hunters, chop. It has three sockets, I think. Oh, I have to discard something now. Can I? Hmm. They can carry no more. I noticed. It has more power, so you would think it would be better. And then we could heal up. They can carry no more. I have literal junk. Oh, you can sell literal junk now. Level and complete it. Encounters four out of five treasures, two out of three harvests, two out of four. But that's unfair. I'm only allowed to go on one side of the split, so I can't get all of them. My completionist desires the from an old garbage shoot. feel poorly catered to. to the darkness, an uncanny landscape of endless human refuse reveals itself. Hey, Dusty Enoch. Each goblin lair begins with the Ancestor's Hall, the sacred dwelling place for the souls of ancestral goblins. The strength of the lair will depend on the souls of its deceased. Recalling what the stone has told them, they come to the realization that beneath all the filth... Game released today, Bolteverb. Stone in hand, they gingerly place it atop the edifice. Suddenly, as if disturbed from a great slumber, violent waves erupt, filling the cavern with relentless energy. Mounds of human waste are swept aside by the vindictive force revealing the great goblin lair, previously thought to have been lost to antiquity. Ooh. What a delightfully cute cat he is. I got some rewards. The handsome boy. The war room. With the goblin stone in place, the lair can be rebuilt. Begin by building a war room. Claim all items before starting your next adventure or lose them forever. Begin by building a war room. The surface of the lair features a large sprawling area. It's a perfect place to set up a campground to attract traveling visitors. Perhaps other goblins in the area might take notice of this new lair. We had a campground instead of a war room. Whoops. 
Wandering goblins gather here to squat on your land and marvel at the lair. Many seek admittance, recruit a few of them to create an adventuring party. Merchants congregate on these grounds. For the campgrounds, recruit goblins as well as a larder and an armory to store items. Butters recruit three life recovery camps, 20%. Okay, how do I leave? Empty chamber. These are the ruins of once great war room. There you go. This is where the adventuring party gathers, ready to be equipped and outfitted for the challenges ahead. When you're all set, select the map to embark on your next adventure. Many expeditions await them. Okay. What other things was I meant to build? I was meant to build like a storage place. But this. Store weapons, store materials. Our options are armory, store weapons, larder, store materials, barracks, increase roster size, barracks, increase roster size, warrens, breed more goblins, quarters, house, retired goblins. Ooh. Which one did I want me to do? Does anybody remember? Can I do both? I can do both, maybe. Oh, maybe I can't actually. Over here? Explore all the merry foothold hills. All right, I think I fixed the lair. I meant to scout the merry foothills. Lair size. Oh, I can upgrade it, maybe? Upgrade the Ancestor's Hall. Next upgrade requires five soul and 12 goblins or something. Okay, so I can't do that yet. I don't know how I'm going to get that many goblins. What is in here? So there's just dedicated storage rooms for treasure and materials used for construction. Right click on any item in the larder to access and view the available options for that item. For the magnificent spoils that await. I can split them or not split them. Those seem to be the options for them. Okay, that was not as exciting as I was hoping. I meant to recruit some people. Only the keen and eager are welcome. Is this XCOM base building? Do we need more engineers? Uh, I guess it appears to be. Every goblin comes with a unique genetic code generating genetic traits that modify stats and abilities. Each goblin can have up to four traits, but only two can be active at a time. Asking goblin captives could unlock new genetic traits for breeding. The more captives you save, the closer you get to collecting them all. As you progress, you will discover more powerful traits. Religious. Spirit plus two, body minus three. We also have appearance. Effects peon bonus. How oh, peons carry your stuff for you. I see. How about you? Who are you? Brute. Better body, but worse mind. Flabby. More life, but less power. Religious is not active. Oh, it's a recessive gene. Or a submissive gene, maybe. Wartgraver is religious and alert. Oh, that seems pretty good. Oh, that's why somebody could redraw abilities, but other people couldn't. Recruit to live in Lair. Prospects loiter about, eager for admittance. 
I also get a brute. But I will not get this one. Dismiss permanently. Be gone. Why can't I upgrade it? Oh, I don't know. Not sure you're comfortable with eugenics as a game mechanic. It does seem rather central, doesn't it? Assemble your party and embark on adventures. Who is the new person I just got? Wartgraver. Wartgraver will be a peon. And Spur Supper as well. Oh, I see. It says what class they are. Done. Or a flame blessings. Do I have a whale? I think I have a whale bonus. All right. Select a region to see the available adventures. I will. Embark on adventures to gather materials for your lair. Your first adventure awaits at the Merry Foothills. There are resources available in these foothills. Explore it thoroughly and find what can be gathered. Beware the local wildlife. There will be cave spiders, wary adventurers, and young wolves. All right. And to stretch my legs and grab a glass of water. And then we will check out the merry foothills. I will be right back. Hope you're all doing well. Ooh, we are playing Goblin Stone. Who is the cutest goblin? I think it's the one with the spikes on its hat. Twitch chat. Hello. Andy McDougall. Onward, my goblins. What do I do now? Only one is willing to join the party. And they have the same traits. I will take the guard. But I don't have enough space for you. You have too many goblins. I'm sorry, Spur Supper. Remove, retire to the quarters. I click that button? No. Did that, was that good? What, why isn't the other one? Okay, goodbye Spur Supper. Why isn't the other one allowed to join me? Your mother tried to eat you as a young goblin. I am sorry to hear that. What is that? That is a very strange looking face. I'm gonna go this way, because it looks like there's like a shop, maybe? Ooh. Ooh. The merchant is so handsome. Wait, I have zero gold. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> the very cute orc. I guess I left all my stuff at the base, so I don't have it right now. Oh, probably I was meant to equip the team before we headed out. That seems like it would be true. Oh. 
Hawk. Need power word deep. I do enjoy the ones who do the forward rolls. That is very cute. Progression. Very cute. Forgot the alloy strike rifle. Not untrue. Not untrue. There are hotkeys. Can I like press one? I can't. Okay. Can I press one one? No. But I can press one and click. Is there a fast move? No. Not yet. Summoning their fortitude, they move on. Which way? You can deactivate battle UI animations. I guess that might be kind of like fast mode, sure. Can I look at the map whenever I want? What is this? Oh, it's a shrine! Oh, I wish I went to the shrine. A cozy fire welcomes the wayworn. They rest and reflect upon the day's events. Having no battle animation sounds unfun. I think it sounds a lot more fun, though. Just like conceptually. But I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I will miss them. Oh, there's so many. These callous ruffians butcher the innocent for experience and loot. How? They're not messing around. I was not prepared. I'm sorry, I was not familiar with your game. Stun? No stun. Wait, did I stun? I thought I wasn't moving before it. I feel like there are still plenty of animations. Like, that felt like a lengthy animation, honestly. <clears throat> Didn't I turn animations off? Battle UI animations. Oh. So it isn't... It's some other animations, but I don't know which ones. What are the UI animations? What does it mean? McWeeb. A good solution would be a slider where the first one, two, three, zeroth time you see this animation, it's skipped. The first one, two, three time you see this animation, it isn't skipped? Like the other way, I think is what you mean. When you deactivate battle, you only the skills show up instantly. Oh, that seems a lot better. That seems strictly better.
Is this like a merging of a Darkest Dungeon and Slather Spire? Uh, I haven't gotten much Slay the Spire from it. I have gotten more XCOM from it than Slay the Spire. I've heard of Slay the Spire before. Yes, I have heard of Slay the Spire. The graphics are a bit spiring. Down with you. Are they? Hmm. I would not say that, but if you believe that to be true, I I will not argue with you. It can be true for you. Prudence dictates caution. As a game with cards and a map, it is a Slay the Spire clone. It's weird how they say that they'll go in a certain order and then the order changes. Heard of Slay the Spider. I prefer to put them outside. They're good, gentle creatures. They're just trying to kill the insects for us. Even Giant Spider B? Yes, even Giant Spider B. It does feel hard to see the things I need to know in the interface because they keep on going away. Like, ideally I would just always be able to see my people's health and which statuses they have. But whenever I use an ability, we enter this like animation scene where I can't see any of that stuff. And then it also happens when the enemies use an ability, which is extra tricky. Modest it's giving me a bit of a headache. Lead to great accomplishments. Because I will be trying to uh, like parse information about what's going on and then I will play an ability and the numbers I was looking at to parse the information about what was going on will disappear while I was trying to read them. And then come back in a slightly different place. It's probably just late, honestly. Gain 5 life per attack. Temporarily enchant a weapon with a free slot. Looks like my people don't have much life left. I think that was like an elite fight or a boss fight or something though. Ooh, we spotted something. Oh, we did it. Okay. That was much shorter than the first quest. We'll join your lair, bunch of gold, some loot, stuff. I have claimed a watchtower. Let's see what the new day brings. Construct a stairwell to reach the lower depths, followed by an empty chamber to further expand your lair. Excavate. Dig out this space for a new room. How do I make a stairwell? Am I doing it wrong? Did I already do it? Maybe I already did it. 
what's the quest? Construct a stairwell, excavate an empty chamber. Once you arrange your rooms, long click or right click on any room and select move to place it somewhere else. Some rooms can also be merged or demolished. Build a barracks to welcome and recruit goblins from the campgrounds. This lets you maintain a list of goblins ready for adventure. To convert peons into guards, shamans, or raiders, you need first to build the respective guilds for each class. This will grant access to unlocking additional combat abilities. I was told to build one of these. Takes one day. Can I build another room? I can, but I don't have enough materials to do anything. Okay. Merchant. Oh, I should have done this before. Twenty percent to bleed. Can I permanently socket something? Would you like this? And this? And that? And that? I like that it tells you things can safely be sold for gold. Big fan. Magic rock. Long spear, magical twig, fiber, bone, wood. Tree. Fair trade. Where are these people? The Snug team. primer. Welcome. Palm cotter. I feel like we should get alert on someone. I have high hopes for this one. The war room has reached capacity. We must build a barracks. I thought I already did. Oh, but it takes uh, a day to build. Fuck your cache of weapons. Equip them via a goblin's character sheet or directly from here to armor goblin. Left Both click Monday on a weapon. Magical. We'll find their way here. Smithy weapon upgrade chance. Interesting. Zephyr? Hey! The letter work? He likes to be acknowledged after he uses the letter box. What a delightful cat. Is there a link for the game? Exclamation mark goblin. No. Me with the new materials, I have enough for a new room. I don't think I do, but we can check. Yeah. I did look as I bought them. But I think we'll get enough soon, probably. What's over here? Oh, you can zoom out. That makes it easier to see things. Can I move this? Move. They have so much technology in XCOM base building now. Look at that, I can I can reposition things. Do you think there are adjacency bonuses? I do not think there are. Upgrades? No, I still don't have souls. Used to upgrade the Ancestors Hall obtained from a goblin's death, dismissal, or retirement. Okay. So I meant to like dismiss all the goblins. About, eager for admittance. How best to sort the distinguished from the disappointing. 
Did that get me souls? No. What if I were to dismiss... Ah, oh, I'm confused. Do I have health, by the way? Alright. I think we need the barracks finished before I can do that stuff. I can go scout there again. Or I can go to the Whistling Heath. It's a familiar area to goblins. However, since it has not been explored in a while, it is best to send out a scouting party. We must explore all of the Whistling Heath. Let's do it. I'm not very impressed by the guards. Can we have somebody better than a guard? Maybe we can't. Oh, also, shouldn't I? Hold on. Well, but in here, it said I could equip weapons. Can I equip a weapon? Yes. No. I think all of these are already equipped on somebody. Yeah, you can actually see, can't you? It has the little flag on it showing that it's already on somebody else. Alright, never mind. I have no weapons. Abilities cannot be used with no weapon equipment. Wait, what? <laughs> Abilities cannot be... Oh. So maybe I just want a peon then. If you can't do anything anyway. Well, let's take Gimplager's weapon. Because you have a lot more health than Gimplager. You appear to deal zero damage or something though. And replace you with you. You with you. Let's do that. That should work great. Begin. The only stream you've ever seen with a caption. Careful. It's uh, super hard to get captions on Twitch. There are many other streams that do it as well. Twenty percent chance to stun a magical twig for a shaman. Damage versus menfolk plus fifty percent. This is a temporary weapon and will disappear after the event. What is up with all the things being packs. temporary? What does that even <coughs> mean? Excuse me. Where does it go? How can it be temporary? What happens to it? Disagree. I would like it permanently. I understand, like, if you find, like, two weapons every adventure, you'll just end up with a billion. For the weary. So I get it, I guess. They settle in, weary of the world. It's a twig. It's just going to break on the way home. Hmm. I guess that kind of makes sense. Ooh, did I get ambushed? Feeble adventure. Why have I picked it up? Oh, a precise assault. Wait, it just died. I'm I'm really confused. Why did Why did Why did it get picked up instead of making a targeting error? I wonder if that was a bug. It could also have just been like how it's meant to be and I didn't realize. Yeah, I don't know. Temps up is meant to change your tactics and make the dungeons feel different. 
makes sense. Huh. The back human seems to deal a lot more damage than the front human. I guess that makes sense given that the front human has armor. In my head, if a human has armor, they'll also deal more damage because it implies that they're like better equipped. Okay, blast picks up instead of having an arrow for some reason. Oh, it targets a random foe, that's why. Okay, I understand that. Nicely done. I get it now. The taste of victory seldom grows stale. More loot. Should we go to a fight or a mine? Let's go to a mine. Yum, yum, yum. Nature's bounty picked clean. These will be put to good use. Perfect. And then I'm down for another mine. If you came across... Oh, can I catch that? Do I have to chase after it? Was I too slow? Interesting. If you came across a group of goblins... And they instantly one-shot your companion, you think you would run? Cowardice. I hope we get to fight the three adventurers from the beginning. Hmm. We haven't seen any wizards yet, have we? Hello! Double. Double ragged adventurer. Staggering hit! Just crits every time. The the ones with guard don't seem great because they just don't get attacked. Uh, <laughs> oh, the first foe is slain. Making them worse. That's my read on the situation so far. Wow, never 12. Oh. Well, I successfully got attacked, I guess. I can use intercept. Maybe it's good. Oh. <laughs> Found that happy mission really funny for some reason. I think of the game so far, we have been having fun. It's very cute. That's what I think of the game so far. Goblins are the very embodiment of survival. Your pan. No? A temporary wooden stool. A temporary orb of slog. Ready for the taking. And money. Seems very similar to that. There's a temporary thing. Hack worker's weapon has been enchanted. I think that's the that's the quest, yeah. I got another guard tower. I assume that takes a day. The lands are chartered. Those are safe. You can skip cutscenes by pressing space. Day dawns. Nice to see them in a fanon. Construction complete. I have a barracks. 
Instead of recruiting at campgrounds, create a warrens for goblins to breed. Explore potent gene combinations to develop stronger warriors. Guards Guild, Raiders Guild, Shaman's Guild. Where's the warrens? I need 10 bones. It's too many bones. Do you have any bones? You have no bones. Just Would you like some random stuff? I could use a sell all. What's it called in Baldur's Gate 3? Wares. Sell all wares button. Prospects loiter about, eager right. for admittance. Let's see if I can get souls. Now I have a barracks. Fuel a strong legion for many generations. So I could go here to Wart Graver, who is religious and alert, and I could say dismiss, which collects a soul. Right. I could grab all of you. And I could go here, and I could... Oh, I can change your combat class. I cannot change your combat class. There are more combat classes than I thought there were. Hunters, Raiders, Guards, Shamans, Mystics, Bandits. They're free now to Wait. Live a life of their own. Why did that get me zero souls? Is it based on how many missions you've been on? Let's participate in battle during an adventure. Plus one soul on dismissal, plus two on death or retirement. Age two, adventures three, battle six. I see. May they prosper wherever they will. So to upgrade this requires 5 souls and 12 population. So I can't do that right now. Alright. But eventually I could. There's an Ancestors button. Those who have gone before. This game is very much geared toward your goblins dying, isn't it? <laughs> like very much geared toward your goblins dying. They want me to build a Guard Guild, Raiders Guild, Shaman's Guild, and a Warrens. What if I built a Raiders Guild? I feel like the Raiders are pretty good. Hmm. Also a Shaman's Guild. Hmm. Also a Guards Guild? I have a staircase before. Shaman's Guild is constructed. The side max life plus one power per free spirit. Abilities unlocked five out of eight. Customize this class by equipping four abilities. All goblins of the same class will share this ability set. You can earn more unlocked power abilities by earning soul during adventures. Soul Gale. AoE attack. So I could do that. Nah, in the Raiders Guild, all Raider stacks.
Okay. Onward. To battle. I think. Sure, why not? Wait, hold on. No. Can I promote you? You. Peons and rookie goblins can change combat class anytime in the lair. However, veteran goblins, those who have already gone on a metric, can no longer change their class. I could change your class to... Nothing. Nothing. You can't be anybody. Goodbye, wart washer. Let them live a carefree life. Free from war. How about you? You can also not be anybody. Ah. Well. <laughs> they are free now to live a Goodbye life. to you as well. Be well. You could become a shame. An appropriate vocation. You are... Okay. So you're going to come as a peon and... You will... Do loot carrying for me, I guess. And we go to the merchant and we buy a weapon for another shaman. Perfect. A fair trade. Blue Melkar, thanks for the 36 months. I appreciate it. For the three years. All right, I think we're ready. Well, I have to give you a weapon. Then we're ready. Map. So what happens if I go back to a place I've already scouted? I embark on an expedition to hunt for treasure and forage for materials from individual and for perils are ever present. I scouted it, but now there are other unknown enemies. So I must not have done a very good job of scouting it. I needed bone. I needed bone for the thing. Let's get the bone. Okay. Hey, Blasty Blue. <laughs> no I really like... In these woods. I greatly appreciate the made-up uh, adventuring guidebook that insults goblins. That's actually kind of lovely. Let's go to the question mark. I don't know what a question mark is yet. Very down for that, though. Ooh. <laughs> a troop of arrogant adventurers pounce upon an elderly orc blacksmith. One of them, full of hubris, disdainfully spits at the orc, gloats about his many earned experience points, and his high level. The wary blacksmith, down, worn down by life's trials, seems to have lost all desire to defend himself. The goblins consider their actions. Goblins will not be mere spectators to this injustice. Even if it jeopardizes their quest, the values of compassion and courage overshadow the perils that lie ahead. Oh, those are... They are very powerful. Oh, I was not expecting this. Uh oh So if I knock them all back... I only worked on one of them. We are the good guys. Question ball. Reckless swing. Okay. I guess the math works out that this is better damage. Also, I got haste. I think I got him. I will intercept Burly Adventure B's attack. A vital blow. 
I have regrets. <laughs> Next time, I will simply let you die. They were bragging about all their experience points. It's true. It's true. I should have known. Oh, good damage. I wonder if it's just not possible to calculate who will actually go first. Because it really seems like a like a thing that I would want to know as the player. Who's going first, game? Is it me or them? What's going on here? Top bar? Yeah, but the top bar, like, is wrong. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, the top bar changes over time. But it changes over time in a in a way that is predictable so I like the game so far I'm having fun it's very cute oh magic damage goes through shield OP I think my shamans are well they're better than peons Triumph of the goblins stand tall after their victory. The elderly blacksmith approaches with deep gratitude, warmly expressing their appreciation for their courageous act. Goblins gain weapon upgrades. Okay, so I could upgrade this. It has to fail 0%. It deals one more damage. Can I upgrade it again? I can. Oh. Can I upgrade it Fine again? Work. Oh? I should have gone Everything for something. Craftsmanship. I should have gone for the other people's weapons. Because the mages don't attack as Fine often. Work. Oh well. The UI duration doesn't need to exist. You have just um, succinctly expressed a truth about all UI design. <laughs> What's, what's this battle guru? Skills, for they will be tested. Upgrade one ability. Is this forever or temporary? Practice makes the warrior. And improve. Nothing is forever? I don't know about that. Hmm. An improvement. Three abilities upgraded. Nice. I'm a little concerned about an elite fight right now. And then there's another fight afterwards. I think we just take the top thing. Cowardice. Cowardice seems like the better option here.
I guess I don't mind my peon getting beaten up. It feels like maybe what the peon is for, honestly. Whoa. Why? Uh-huh. Wait, did I? Oh, I did upgrade. Oh, I thought I was upgrading a wizard weapon. I was upgrading a raider weapon, actually. Okay. An encouraging progression. Well. Fine. Assault. Weapons sheathed, they thunder on. Magical twig wand, damage versus small. A modest fortune. Does this go on somebody? Did y'all just see, um, the captions stopped the interface from coming back? <laughs> like, the interface didn't come back until the caption for the voice acting was finished. Sharpen their blades. They will soon need them. Ah, uh, okay. Can I just do this more? Chance to fail, 100%. Well, that seems pretty bad. I guess I won't do that. Forged anew. Ah, every time I do it, the chance to fail increases. Evident craftsmanship. Wait, what happens if it fails? Nothing. Oh, unfortunate. It ends. Alright, fair enough. Elite fight or regular fight? What is that? Oh, that's a goblin I can rescue. Uh, I... Uh, do I care about rescuing a goblin? I guess so, maybe? Sure. We'll rescue a goblin. I rolled. How the foe crushed. We should get more level four weapons. These seem pretty good. We have intercept. We do not. So all we can really do is bash. Yeah, that character does not seem useful unless it gets intercept. He doesn't deal any damage, and doesn't do anything else either. <laughs> I don't know. Wait. Somehow I have successfully tanked all of the damage with it. So, well done, I guess.
Oh, more. This will come in handy. I thought I'd get more meat. I guess they don't eat flesh that's that rancid. That would just be too much. Our options are Dice Winner, who is a brute flabby religious alert. Or Veil Booger, who is the same. There's like a, a Wobble Dogs thing going on here. Because they have appearance traits as well. Aww. What happens to the other one? It's sent back to town. Goodbye, Rude Gouger. Oh, and the other one uh, just escapes on its own, I guess. I don't really know. Oh, there's a like boss fight at the end. I was down for it to just be the one wolf, actually. See, like here, these ones are slow, so it can tell me how long it will take before they move. But it won't? Instead? <laughs> I think that's kind of silly. Down with you. Exceptional Ooh. skill. The crit. Holy moly. Everybody's tired. We stopped being tired. Ow. Injuries mount. Ugh. <laughs> Games like this sometimes have not the best stuff going on with wanting to stall fights for healing. Always something to look out for. Hasn't been a very big deal in this one so far. Excellent strike. I don't know if this is going before this or not. It's hasted, so it's moving up more quickly. I guess I can just stun it. Crippling strike. With each victory, they advance their core. Okay. We have a magical twig. A respectable hole. See how the interface doesn't come back until the <laughs> closed captions are gone? <laughs> I do not like that. <laughs> uh, please bring me the interface back so I can click the buttons. 20% chance to slow. This is temporary. It on one of the Raiders. Place of tranquility and rest. They rest and reflect upon the day's events. All right. That's a substantial rest. Whoa, a spider. They confront the scourge to put an end to its terror. Skitter. Students and time are 
potent medicines. I wonder if they're attacking that goblin or if they're attacking position four. I don't actually know. They seem to be attacking that goblin. Alright, well. Slightly concerning. But now they've changed. I'm confused. Why, why did they change? You slow. Toxic. I thought I slowed them. Maybe they resisted the slow. Everyone in the entire world is trying to kill Quip Hunter. What a disaster. Why did that deal me poison? Draw? Oh. Okay. I thought that removed poison too. Target's life is less than 50%. I assumed that was less than 50%. It was not! Unlucky. These have a lot of resistance to slow, so we will just deal some damage to them, I guess. Why didn't it kill me? Strange. Crit! Never crit. It's making me want to play Baldur's Gate 3, but I think that it's just that every game makes me want to play Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I don't really have any explanation for why it's making me want that. Uh, I think if I exterminate this, probably I can kill it with my next person. Hope so. Yep. The imposing creature is gone. Hopefully, never to return. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. They had some gems. Very nice. Treasure in tow. The goblins return home from the woods. What's the handicap, I wonder? Plus one soul. Let's see what the new day brings. Build a Warrens. Uh, I want to see what the Warrens does, but it's gonna take another day. Only the keen and we have cool things yet. An alert brute. Promising young fellow. I have high hopes for this one. A 
promising young fella. I want this alert brute. Please. Also, how close am I to upgrading this thing? It requires five spirit. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. What if you were dismissed permanently? Maybe Goodbye, Dice Winner. Wherever they were. Oh, it also requires tall population. Oh, yeah. Whoops. What's the merchant got today? Looks okay. Just what's needed. All right. Do I have time for one more? I don't think I have time for one more. Can I pass a day? I want to check out what the Warren's like when it's built. Should we find out what happens if I fail? Let's find out what happens if I fail. You can do it, Lake Buster and Clan Hubber. How do I... I want to take more out. That's all. Oh, right click. Okay. Okay. We'll see what happens if I fail. Has anyone tried this on Steam Deck? I have not. They tread an unfamiliar. I have path. not. Solo mission. We win these. Ooh. They are not ready for training. No abilities to upgrade. <laughs> Sad. I bet the enemies like scale over time or whatever, huh? The Grizzle Smith greets them kindly. I don't have any weapons. <laughs> it's going great, going great, going very well. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We won this. Dictates caution. We might not win these. I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 either way. It's close. Ah, ah, ah. Mortal this wound. An yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> For each death, you will be awarded valuable souls at the end of the adventure. Souls can be used to upgrade the lair. From every mistake and failure, wisdom is gleaned. Okay. So we failed. We got a soul. Day passed. I'm guessing that every day the enemies get stronger or something. Maybe? I'm not really sure. How best to sort the distinguished from the disappointing? We built the warrants. Build the rooms to retire all the older goblins. This is where goblins breed. Goblins from the warrens are usually better than those found at the campground. When choosing a pair, carefully consider the mind, body, and spirit attributes. So I could... The mind, body, and spirit attributes. I could just... Do you just take the ones with the highest number? Like, what do you do? That one. And... That one. The 
makings of a strong brood. One teams with new life. Wait, what just happened? Where'd the where the This better suits their temper. Can I can I send the children on a mission? <laughs> Goblins spawned after birth. Did the proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many Did the people I used die or are they okay? <laughs> All right, so anyway, that's what it looks like when you breed goblins. I think I can upgrade this now. New depth level is accessible. Did you get pregnant when you high-fived your friend yesterday? Possible? I don't know. I'm gonna go to sleep. It is my sleep time. This has been fun. This has been Goblin Stone being sponsored to check this out today by Orc Chop Games. And the game just released on PC via Steam and Epic Games as of today. Check it out. I believe there's a demo if you want to try playing it to see if you like it. Uh, but you're not sure yet. Is that true? Goblin Stone demo. Zero results match your search. Maybe there used to be a demo, but there isn't anymore. Unlucky. Goblin Stone demo. Oh, there definitely used to be one. Oh, well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, wow. People were playing the demo of this a year and a bit ago. It takes a while to make a game. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I hope to see you there. Be well. Get some good sleep. Play some fun games. I don't know. Be kind to other people. Good night, everybody.